Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, I'm just on my way to change the sign right now, and uh, yes, the lag is real. I don't know exactly what's causing it, and I think I have an idea of what it is. This could have something to do with it, but I think there might be something else. Um, I actually just did a couple of video guides on this world. Let's actually shut this off for a minute, see if this is actually causing I highly doubt it. Whoa. But yeah, I ended up uh, teleporting somewhere else. Yeah. That's not it. But I ended up tele teleporting somewhere else in this world uh, to do a couple of guides. I did one for uh, uh, just a basic, basic vehicle guide and a basic power guide. Uh, some people have been having some issues with this. Uh, and yes, we are now on number 104. I don't care how laggy it gets, this thing stays. But I, uh, yeah, I went somewhere else. Uh, it was one of the places I dropped down a scanner. I can't remember which monument it was, but when I teleported back, the lag was just unbelievable. I came back to the monument, which is somewhere over there. I have no idea. I just followed the telephone poles. And it was just so laggy. And then I started going over the hill and it dropped down to about a frame a second. And then I started getting to the compound and then something wasn't right with the chopper. So I went to go investigate and this is what happened. Yes, the ghost is back. Uh, I still think there's something up with those hinges. You can still see it sitting on its side there. I could go over there and I could show you that the counterweight is actually sticking right outside of the thing. I These hinges, it's these, these hinge blocks right here. But for some reason, this doesn't have any issues. I never had any issues with the other tank either. Uh, as you can see, I changed my staging platform a little bit here. And let's just drop down on top. And I figured out a better way to load this thing. It's sort of a drop-in style. It seems to work uh, only because I'm doing it one block above. And I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So I don't have to stand here for 10 minutes trying to get that one block into place. So we we'll just put it there. And... See? No problem there. And then I should be able to get that one. Like that. I tried uh, doing a test load with it all the way up in the air and it still still had no problem loading. And then when I take this out, it drops into place. So now all we have to do is just go ahead and fire it and just clear out the, clear out the barrel because I've already had one jam already. I said it test fire with the SIG all the way up. I swear to God it went over that mountain. I swear. But... As you can see, I set up a little bit of a target range here, so let's go drive over there and just see what we can do with this. I want to see if the kinetic energy from the rails is actually enough to knock over these targets and to hit those spinners. And at the same time, too, we'll be able to see how fast we'll actually be able to get this thing going. And you can see what I mean about the turret locking. Uh, what I want to do is you can see that brace at the, or the cradle the gun sits down on. Originally, I wanted that on the 
the front here, sort of somewhere that it locks into place so it doesn't rotate back and forth under the weight. But the problem with that is it starts getting bulky and ugly and I sort of like this. Uh, the, me having the wheels sort of locked at odd angles like that does help. But this isn't too bad. It's not like they're getting power or anything. It's just the fact that the bottom of the tank is moving. But because we got so much weight here, it just wants to stay. So on the right, I have some drop targets. And up in the very top there, I don't know if you can see it, but I actually have one block. They are actually free. I built them on a small armored block, and I took the block out, so they dropped down. So they technically aren't snapped. And then I got two different size spinners there. So let's go in a little closer, actually. Let's see if we can back this thing up. We need little warning beepers. Beep, beep, beep. I'm actually impressed. This thing actually moves pretty good. I think it moves better than the other one. But we are in the desert, so it's completely flat. Okay, let's get out. Turn the drive off. Turn the gun on. And we'll get our angle. So let's let's go for the spinner first. And I notice these hinges are a little tight. Sometimes you gotta force it up. There we go. Now let's see. Oh, that's the wrong way. I might have to back up to hit that one. You can sort of aim this way. I realize now hitting the small ones is going to be tough. Alright. Time to load. And this is why I'd like to have some sort of magazine set up. So at least I could just drop them in. Uh, this first block's kind of hard to get in now with this position. But I just try to get right on top of the hover pad there and it'll automatically snap to the top. And there's rail one. And uh, rail two. Two? Nah, didn't like that. Uh, when I was changing out this platform too, it tried to kill me a couple of times. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. I might have to... There's not much I can really do about that. Anyways, let's go ahead and fire it before it gets jammed. To it. Let me reload this. Okay, it's reloaded again. Uh, the reason why I, I can't actually load it before I move it is I actually have this one set to hover mode or grounded mode. So when I hop into the cockpit, it's going to push the rail into the feeder, and that's just to eliminate the issue with that top rail, or roller, I should say. But let's see if I can actually reach this from here in third person. And it's going to do the same thing. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't going to work. Oh, give me a moment. Alright, so I stuck a third, third roller bearing in there, so let's see if that actually helps. It actually should help us get us a better angle because we have more weight in there now. Alright, let's try this again, and I hope that should stop it, because it was dipping down to that little, little gap. And it helps if I hit the right button. Don't know why my angle changed like that on me, but... Okay. So now it should actually drop in a little bit better. That's exactly what I wanted. So now this, when I, the rail drops down, it sort of rolls forward and it pulls it back away from the hover pad. So, see what happens. Hey, we hit it. Yeah, it did turn a little bit. Let's see if we can... It go to the side a little bit more. All right, reload. This is where multiplayer would come in handy. 
we can get someone like get someone like Vogley or some little lackey to load this cannon up for me. Well, I won't say lackey, but minion. Get some assistance going. Okay, let's try this again. And then I'm going to see if I can hit the drop targets. But by the looks of it, doesn't look like it's going to be enough to actually knock those things over. Might have to f throw a good dillo up there. Perfect. All right, get back in the third person and fire. Oh, nice! Look at that. Now you could tell that had a lot of power to it. All right. Uh, yeah, let's go for the sideways one. I'm sort of using the barrel as a sight line. Unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to get up any higher. Let's see if we can get up. Come on. Yeah, we might actually have to drive backwards. It'd be nice if I could turn that on from here. It trolls you by saying that you can. I like how the gun just drops down when I turn the power off. I'm going to back up a little bit so I can actually hit that sideways one. I hit something apparently. That's a little aggressive, don't you think? Okay, let's see what we got here. Line her up. Load her up. And fire away. Uh, this, at least this is a lot easier to load now. Spent ten, spending two minutes waiting for that yellow that yellow hitbox to hit. Now I gotta see if I can use this newly found information and make take advantage of it because I know this works. But am I gonna be able to do it with uh, six or twenty rounds? And I hit it. Look at that. That's gone. Over the hills. It's out of here. Should have put a beacon on that one. All right, I'm not going to bother trying to hit those skinny ones because that's just ridiculous. I know I'm not going to be able to hit the top one unless, unless I back up a couple hundred meters. Let's see if we can actually hit that rail. Let's actually go for the second one. I can't expect my aim to be perfect. This is the first time I've actually tried hitting targets with this. With astounding success, i got to admit. All right. Now, unfortunately, I can't actually load this up in third person. But that is fine. Okay. Because I can load it in seconds now. I didn't even think about trying this. I thought it was going to drop down on top of the wheels. I was sort of trying that out earlier. Uh, like a few days ago earlier, I mean. And I had it two blocks above, but it wasn't always landing in there every time. After like three or four times, it sort of turned 45 degrees and went down into like a V. And I kept doing that. And I think we completely missed. Should be in line. It's not exactly the most accurate thing in the world. Let's bring it over a little more. We'll try another shot. Oh. And then what I'm going to do is after I load this one and fire it, I'll probably, I'll probably end up doing a couple more test shots. Sort of do a quick little mini montage to end the episode. Uh, actually was curious to see if this thing would actually start working properly now that I found a almost flawless way to load it because I haven't had any problems with that yet. Now it's the whole accuracy thing. And that, I don't even think that made it. Or it bounced off of something. 
Let's go for one more. See if we can stretch that up. I'm wondering if I put a few more air blades on it, if that'll help. But anyways, I'm gonna do a do a little video montage, fire a few more shots on after this, and uh, end the episode that way. Uh, so anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.